we're here at South 17th Street in the city of Newark, and we're doing lead line replacements. There's a water main running up and down this street, and it's feeding all the homes on this block. And out of that water main is usually a one inch service line that feeds each of the houses. Our goal here is to replace all the lead lines going into these houses. So what our contractor does is he goes into the house and determines whether it's lead coming into the house. Then he digs a test pit, as you see here, right at the curb line to see if there's lead going back to the main or heading towards the house. Contractor then replaces any lead that he finds with nice new clean copper and then the lead line replacement is done at that home. We thought the best method was replace every lead service line in the entire city. We, we've actually went through about 35,000 homes that we needed to abate and we actually excavated at 29,000 homes. And we replaced a little over 22,920 services today. Uh, as we speak of today, we're in our last 130 homes that need to be checked. Typically in Newark, houses that are 1990 and newer, we don't have to replace. We do confirm the older homes before we move on to the lead service replacements and complete them as part of this program. And what they get is a nice fresh copper line to their house, which will provide good clean drinking water to those homes for the future and for the families that move into these houses down the road. This is a lead service line replacement program that everybody says it's going to take 10 to 12 years. We didn't want it to take 10 to 12 years. We were committed to the residents of Newark. We did it in an effective and efficient time manner. We wanted to do it, get it done, and get it done now. So residents can believe in government and we can show our residents and the world that we can do better. Government, when they're collaborating and working together, we can spend money efficiently and effectively and remove the dangers and exposures to lead in the drinking water. And the biggest thing is we're doing all this for free. We're not charging the residents. We don't need to charge residents that, that's being ex potentially exposed to lead, right? Because we care about the residents of the city of Newark and we're committed to the long haul.